Hey there, I'm Chris Dukic, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your TV into digital signage by adding a screen in Digital Signage Manager. But first, some basics. Typically, we recommend adding media, creating a playlist, and then adding the screen. And the first time you step through uh, and create an account, we're going to do this for you with the onboarding wizard. So you'll have a working example when it comes time to adding a screen. You don't have to do it in this order, but that's what we recommend. So let's take a peek. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do, if you haven't already, is head over to displaynow.io slash player. And here, you're going to see all the player options. So if you've managed to order your equipment, skip ahead a few seconds. Uh, but basically, there's two paths. You can either have an existing TV, in which case you're going to use a stick. So you can choose the Fire TV stick or the Google TV stick. Second option is you don't have the TVs yet. In that case, we'd recommend purchasing a Fire TV or Google TV with that technology built in so you don't have to worry about extra remotes and sticks. Once you have that equipment, you don't want to download and install the Digital Signage Player app. And so that player will give you a code, and we're going to take that code and enter it into Digital Signage Manager, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So upon logging into Manager, you're going to see your existing screens, anything that you have set up, including that example that we set up on onboarding. You can navigate to player.displaynow.io, which is our web player, uh, and that will let you see it in action, similar to how it would look if you had the player app installed on the hardware. So you can do this even if you don't have hardware. So this example, we'll just add a third screen to the wellness center, and I'm going to take that code. We also give you a link to launch that web player if you select that while adding a screen. And we already have a playlist set up. So we're going to tag it to wellness center, and then we are going to hit save. And just like that, the player is activated and begins showing your content. And so you can make changes to it, and that content will automatically update uh, for web player and or the other players. You'll see here as you uh, roll out this solution that your screens will show the name, the status, and a preview that updates uh, every five seconds, I believe. And you can also change the group, which we'll cover in a different segment. You can preview, which will show you uh, a quick preview of what is being presented on the screen through another tab here. That does not update automatically if you make changes to the playlist, but if you paired a web player, that will. You can refresh if, if you want to just start the presentation over or if something isn't quite working right, that will reset everything and get it uh, working again. And you can click edit and you can also delete. So that's pretty much it. It's real simple. You add your screens and you can organize them as you grow. Um, so you can put them in folders, which will segment them accordingly. So this is great for folks with multiple locations where they want to organize. Say maybe you have the Boston location and the Dallas location. You can do that whichever way makes sense to you. And if you need help, we're always here. So reach out through the chat on the website, or you can reach out to support at displaynow.io. Thanks for watching.